now that your mask is dry, now we're ready to paint. So I've talked, gone over in class uh, the various things you'll have at your table. So you'll each have at your table one sort of set of brushes, which there's enough for everybody and a couple of different sizes to choose from. And if you need little tiny ones, you can always let me know. We've got our bucket of water halfway full. There's three of these. And we've got our two towels for wiping off hands and drying our brushes uh, whenever we uh, change colors and wash them off. And you'll each get to start out with one little container. The containers that I will give you, I will have little lids that you can pop on there so that you can uh, reuse the paint that you, you were uh, given the, the day before. And we can put those in our, um, our drawers where our work goes. All right, so just a couple of things about painting with acrylic paint, okay? This stuff does stain, so I do have the drop cloths, and like I, I showed in my directions and I'll talk about in class, this is pulled all the way to one side, just like our drop cloths uh, when we were plastering. So brand new ones, so we're not gonna get plastered dust everywhere and on you know, all of our paint. We don't want that. So with acrylic paints, they're pretty cool. They go on fairly smooth. Uh, it'll smooth out and fill out some of these little holes and these little bumps uh, that your mask has as you paint. And the one thing, the one main thing that I want everybody to sort of understand is this is not really a paint mixing uh, part of the project. Uh, we'll get into uh, color theory and mixing paint um, a little bit later on when we start our painting unit and our unit on color. But mostly, I just I want you to kind of want learn one thing. And remember one thing that is, if you're trying to mix the colors, for example, I have this blue, but, you know, I may not have in my big bunch of colors. I might ha not have a very light blue. So say, all right, well, if I get white and blue, I can make a light blue. But here's the thing. Anytime you mix two colors, you always have to add the darker color into the lighter color. If you go the other way, this darker color, this stronger pigment, will swallow this thing up and it will not change. So if I dumped all of that into that blue, it's not going to change very much. And what happens is you end up having to pour a ton of white in here to get this to change at all, and we just waste the paint. Okay, so you always add the darker color into the lighter color to sort of change. Okay, always want to remember that. Now, you don't even have to mix colors. Uh, you can just, there's lots to choose from straight out of the bottles that we can go ahead and paint on. Um, in my directions, like I was saying before, you know, feel free to you know, paint on your kind of like larger colors first, you know, using the smaller, the bigger brushes here. Okay, you kind of have to get kind of in the crevices and in the cracks. And if your brush is doing that, that means you need to load it up with more paint. So get a fair amount on there. And kind of really get it in there. Okay. Now, if you, anytime you want to change colors, you need to wash out your brush. And we've got to keep these things washed out really well because when this stuff dries, the brushes will harden and these will be useless. We'll have to throw them in the garbage, which is why we have monitors. So I've got my water, I'm gonna scrub it on the bottom, and then I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to wipe it out the rest of the way so that it's nice and clean, so I can change my color. All right, so you can do some mixing straight on your mask. Like I'm going to, got a little white over here, so I'm going to get some areas that are a little bit white, a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm just kind of mixing on here. And if I go quickly, then I can kind of do sort of a blending effect, you know, with the paint sort of as I go. Okay, kind of blending that in. Now maybe I wanted that a little bit lighter. So I'm not going to jump in and dig this back in because if I did that, there's, I got some blue in it. And now the next person that wants this, they're gonna have a chunk of blue in it that they may not want, okay? So I would again wash out the brush, scrub it on the bottom, dry it because we don't want extra moisture on there. And then I can jump in to my white again and I can make this a little bit lighter if I want to kind of have this kind of fuzz out a little bit. Now this will dry fairly quickly. <clears throat> the plaster will soak the moisture uh, from, the, from the paint. It'll draw, draw it into the plaster. So this will dry fairly quickly. So if you kind of take a long time and think, I'm going to blend it on the mask and you come back, uh, you will be surprised that you won't be able to do that. One of the, that's one of the good things about the plaster and then the, the 
um, acrylic paint will dry so quickly on it because we can do, you know, a lot of uh, layering effects. So like right now, this is a little tacky, but it's not too bad. Of course, I can always go over to the painting station and I'll have the hairdryer set up so that you can blow dry this and um, make it dry much more quickly so you can add layers on top. Because you may have some lots of little details in your mask design. You may change things up and you may say, okay, well, if I have this little detail, um, I'm not going to be able to paint around it, but I'm going to try my best. And then I can come back in with a smaller brush. I can find a smaller brush. Okay, we've got a smaller one and I can get some details sort of over that. Okay, maybe I've got some sort of little stripes over that somehow. You kind of have to go over it a couple times because you'll notice that it's got, you know, because it's got bumps and ridges, um, we're missing some spots. So you have to kind of go back and relayer that a little bit. So again, think about what little details you're going to add after you've already put on the first layer. And remember, you've got to use at least five colors. You can use many, many, many more than that. I have lots and lots to choose from. I have many colors that are metallic, which is pretty cool. Kids like to do that. You know, and you can layer several times. So if I've done that, then maybe I want to go back and I want to keep my small brush. So I rinse it off, I dry it. And if I don't dry it, then you have watery paint. We don't want that. And then maybe I want to come back in here. So maybe I have uh, used the hair dryer and dried that out really easily or very quickly. And then maybe I'm going to put some little, little bits of white, maybe kind of in there. Some little dots maybe. Okay, and that started to mix because it wasn't dry quite yet. Okay, so always, always, if you're going to mix the colors, mixing on the mask is great. Um, mixing, mixing in the cups is not so great. So if you're wanting to mix a color for like a specific area that I don't have that color, and if it's a small area, what you can do is you can get a piece of newspaper, and I'll show you where those are in the class, and then I can get some, let's see, I want to make a really light kind of pink here, so I've got some white. I took my white out first, and then I've got to wash my brush, dry it again, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of the pink in there, and mix it all around. Okay, now I have the color I want, and I can apply that wherever I'd like. Okay, but if you need to make a lot, a, a much larger amount um, of a specific color, just raise your hand, ask me, um, and we'll problem solve and figure out the best way to do that. But always mixing colors, you're always going to add the dark into the light color. Little spots, you can always use the newspaper. Mm -hmm.